go do other things, but they, I don't know, man, they, they see they have, they have something that they don't want to let go of, and they're kind of holding me back, they're, they're not doing what they need to do with my, with my, putting my shit on the radio, they're not, they're not getting behind me, they're not pushing me out, they're not, they're not doing nothing, really, all they're doing is paying for me to go to the fucking studio and make hits like I do, and paying me to go, paying for my time, and paying for my rhyme, you know, in a, in a way, that's all they're doing. That's all they're fucking doing. They ain't doing nothing else to, to you know, nothing to put me, get me some commercials or anything. Nothing at all. All they're doing is sitting back and letting my music do whatever it does, which is doing pretty cool just for, I mean, like I said, no promotion, just people people talking, you know. The fans are, the, are, are, are my main promoters. You know, my label ain't really doing nothing. So what I'm doing, I just, I just want to give my fans a good, like, I want them to know when they buy a little Cueta CD that there's going to be some tight songs on there. They're not going to be disappointed because I know I bought a lot of song- CDs and the songs on there weren't all that, and I was disappointed. But they're going to know that my songs are going to be good songs to want to bump to, so they're not going to be disappointed. That being said, is what I mean is I'm trying to keep my fans with me until I do go somewhere else. So I'm not going to just put out anything just to get out of this deal because I have one more, I have this another CD to do with Eastside and then I'm done. But I never, I knew that from the beginning. I never wanted to just put out anything so that that way when I do leave or when I do look for another deal, everybody's going to be like, damn, well, you know, Little Quet is bad. That fool gets down. You know, he, he fucking, he makes some, he makes tight songs. Yeah. So that being said, I mean, they're not really doing too much for me. I'm not. I'm not happy with them. I am looking for another deal. So if I do ever, if anybody, you know, whoever comes right with the right price, you know, with the right deal, I'm in a year next year. I'll be free. So. Well, um, there have always been rumors about you joining High Power Entertainment. So, what do you have to say uh, about that topic? Um, I'd have to say that. I don't really know too much about that. I mean, there's been times we've talked about things, but times have changed. I don't know. I haven't really talked to them too much. You know, I stay I stay more in contact with with Stomper and and Criminal to than to Capone or you know. So I don't really know if they're if if they're offering some money. Yeah, of course. I mean, they're cool. They're 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 feeding me gente. I like them. They're I mean, they're down for their shit, but they don't act stupid. That's why I like them, because they're not fucking, they're, they know they're down for their shit, and they don't have to prove it to nobody, you know, they're just down, they're just female, like, just for example, when, um, we went, we went to shot a video with, with Criminal, yeah. and, um, I took a couple of my homeboys with them, he had a gang of his homeboys as usual, took a couple of my homeboys from the walk, and, um, we fucking met up, and, um, we kicked it there at, in a, at, uh, for the shoot, None of his homeboys acted stupid with my homeboys. They never disrespected. They never fucking acted, you know, they they never tried to get crazy. They were always had they always had respect. And my homeboys always respected them. So it was always a female, you know, uh, vibe. And we, it was never like, oh, fuck, something's about to pop off. Or, you know, these fools, fuck these fools. Or fuck, you know what I mean? They, they never said nothing like that. Or we never said, it was always female. So what I respected about them was, is that they know they're fucking down they know they're they're feeding you know they know that they'll get sick at, at, at the, with the quickness just like any other down homie but what i liked is they had respect for for criminal enough to not act crazy with with little wet and his homeboys cuz of their homeboy of course and that's how it should be so that's why i wouldn't mind going around them fools because they're always feeding man they're always you know they're down for their shit i ain't going to be i i i would i wouldn't even be thinking about it if if some of this shit that they were saying about, you know, my boys from High Power that they ain't real or they're fake or this and that. Nah, that's bullshit. They're feeding my homeboys, they're feeding my gente, and they're down for the shit, you know. So don't ever, don't let nobody fucking tell you otherwise because they're down as gente, and I know that, and I'll, I can say that for sure. There's been times where, where me and Criminal, you know, uh, Criminal comes and picks me up, and uh, we go to the studio, we're strapped down like a motherfucker. We get into the fools, and uh, these, fools don't, we, these fools don't need to act crazy until it's really time, and that's what I like about it, because when it's time to get crazy, shit's going to pop off. And there's, there, was, there was more than one time, me, Criminal, we had, we were all strapped down on the fucking, going over there to the studio, we, we, we ran out of gas on the freeway, you know? Yeah. 
trip out on this. We had a gang of fucking guentes on us. We had a gang of guns on us. We had to leave the fucking car park right there. You know, shit happens. You know, a lot of uh, other shit happened that I'm not going to talk about, but I just wanted to say, you know, that fool showed me a few times that he's down, you know what I mean? So all these fools out there want to talk shit about it. I don't give a fuck if they talk shit about me, too. I know who's real. I know who's not. Them fools are real. And and just because if maybe you you got beef, you know, with the, with them, doesn't mean that you're not real. You you maybe you're real too, but I don't know you, so I'm not gonna say nothing on no one else. But I, for the for the fact, them fools are real. Them fools are gangster too. So I would love to be from somewhere that you know representing. I would never be. I would never even be thinking about being from a label like that if they weren't. You know what I'm saying? So I would. I don't know what would happen if I would be fucking signed to High Power or not. But I wouldn't mind it, you know what I'm saying? The right money, is, it would be cool. All right, all right. Um, I mean, maybe you can let us know more a little bit about the actual work, you know, that you have done with Mr. Criminal. So music-wise, you know? Yeah, well, I mean, you guys hear it. It's, it's, it's fire, and, like, every, every time I, you know hear something about it they always want to know like you know if we're going to do more tracks and they they love it they want us to do a whole cd together and whatever they do i mean i know for a couple of times uh we we just went you know to the um criminal studio we got all fucked up they smoke some kush maybe smoke some other stuff and you know sit there and write the song as we're right there so it's never been you know a lot of rappers a lot of rappers get the beats and uh, work on them and then go. But I, every time that I've worked with Criminal and anybody from High Power, I've always ri written the verses right then and there, in front of them, right there at that point in time. I never went in there with stuff re like already ready to go because I never heard the, ver uh, the beats. Or, you know, I never knew what the songs were, were about. So I just would go in there and just record them. But, and they would always come out tight. I mean, Criminal got tight flows. Uh, the, that... Um, Everybody, everybody from over there, they're pretty tight. And as far as the rapping, you know, silence tight. Stomp Scott's his style. Everybody, everybody's doing their thing over there. So that's why when I'd get over there, I'd be like, oh man, I need to do some tight shit because these fools are tight. So let me let me make some tight shit too. So you know, it always would make me want to do some more tighter shit when I get over there. So I mean, I, it's it's always good. It's always good and it's always fun. Fucking going and working over there with that fool because then I have to fuck you know school him a little bit on the PlayStation 3 and shit, you know, just <laughs> maybe have to knock him out on the Knockout Kings a couple of times, but that's about it. Everything else, it's cool. It's fun as fuck going and working with that fool. Okay, okay. So, um, I mean, in the in your answer, you just mentioned uh, that you guys were thinking about doing like a collabo album, you know, so it's just being like a little creative Mr. Criminal album. What happened? No, well, no, no, no. You see, don't get don't get it wrong. What I'm saying is, is that I've heard people asking that question oh, more okay, than okay. you know, more than a few times. So I mean, <clears throat> I wouldn't mind. I don't think he'd mind either. But I don't know. Um, we just have to wait and see on that. Okay. I'm okay. sure. I'm sure. Um, my Eastside Records and, and his label could make work something out if we really wanted to do something like that. You know. Yeah, I mean, split 50-50 shouldn't be a problem, you know? <laughs> Something, you know, one way or another. So, um, some people have been wondering, you know, about your current thoughts about Conejo, also in the background of the beef, you know, between uh, High Power and Conejo. Well, like I said, <clears throat> Criminal is a big boy and he can handle his own shit. Not that, not that um, you know, like I'm saying, oh, what, whatever, whatever beefs he has, He doesn't bring me into that shit, and whatever beefs I have, I don't bring him into that shit neither. But at the same time, like to speak on that, like to be honest, he might he he might not understand. I don't have no fucking problem with going to hell. You know what I'm saying? But if 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 fucking shit falls and I'm with and I'm with cr criminal and shit's happening, and I'm gonna back up my boy. You know what I'm saying? So so another it's basically like he's saying I'm saying I'm taking his side because basically I am. But in a way, I'm not really, I don't really give a fuck, really, about their beefs. But, I, you know what I mean? So, I mean, I, to be honest, Gonehan was a, was a pretty female rapper to me, too. So, yeah. like, it's not really no big deal to me too, too, too much, you know what I'm saying? But, like, if I was ever with them, I'd have to, you know, back up my boy. That's, 
that's, that's plain and simple. Okay, okay. So um, our forum member, Harbor Area 213310, you know, he's coming up with the uh, next question, actually. Um, I mean, how is your current relation with creator himself and uh, his old artists, 